Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello and happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Uh, guess what? Nobody wants to, to work anymore. Oh, shocker. Uh, nobody wants to go to work anymore. Everybody thinks they should be able to work from home. And we've got some spooky stories about what happens to you if you don't go to freaking work. Now, to be fair, this one, I side with the employees on. Yeah, we're going to talk about several companies here, most notably uh, Farmers Group. Uh, we're going to talk about Roblox. Um, I think we have uh, Salesforce in here, too. All these employees were told they need to get back to the office. Some of them, though, they already moved to other states. Yeah, they in the case of the Farmers Group, it sounds like they were already told that it was going to stay remote, and then they changed their mind. So we're going to talk about that. Um, we're going to talk about uh, this this uh, new trend, I guess it's called coffee badging. This was uh, trending a couple of weeks ago. We just didn't get to doing a video about it. But apparently there are employees that show up to work, drink a cup of coffee, uh, talk to their coworkers so people know they showed up and then they leave. Well, that's just shit. And then <laughs> you probably should get fired because that's just, you know, it's, it's the protest to return to work. Yeah, well, um, you can go find another job then. I, I guess. guess. I, I people, guess. Other people want to come in, so there you go. So let's uh, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, we actually do not work from home. We actually have an office that mm -hmm. we have to go to usually, except for those days where the audio was really bad and people were complaining about it, and we told you it's because we're working from home. Yeah, that's why we don't work from home. Yeah. So um, anyway. Uh, Check out shopclownfish.com. Check out Shadow Binders Volume 3. I'm going to hit refresh. I know we have more. There we go. We have more people back at today. Yay! Uh, thank you very much. This is our version of Indiegogo. Basically, we're not going to use Indiegogo anymore. We might do a round on Kickstarter here in a couple of weeks. But if you want to pre order Shadow Binders Volume 3, go out to shopclownfish.com. We still have some ones and twos left. Uh, not very many of those, though. No. So you're going to have to grab them while you can grab them. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. Remember that? Oh, yes. You haven't done that in a long time, but we don't usually live stream anymore. So that's No, see, why. if I were pushier, I'd be like, you have to do it. Give us money because you have to. No, you don't. No, I don't. You don't have to. Nobody has to do anything they don't want to do, including uh, going to work. You don't Apparently, have to, yeah. You don't have to go to work, but there might be repercussions. You might not have a job anymore. So this was... Uh, a couple of months ago, actually, this is a farmer's group. The new CEO told employees they can't work remotely after all, and they revolt because, yeah, some of them moved. Yeah. Completely. I, I do have to side with the employees in this one. Yeah, in this case, I do side with the employees. So this is an insurance company, Farmer's Group. Uh, they told employees last year most of them would be able to be remote. They could make... They made uh, significant lifestyle changes. Some people moved to cheaper cities. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're getting a, a New York or California paycheck and you can live in Idaho, why not do it? Right. And then they, they expanded their home offices and did different things. And now, now, I mean, well, not now. It's a couple months ago. They're basically like, yeah, you have to come back to the office three days a week. Yeah. So last month, uh, Raul Vargas, who took over as chief executive, walked it back. He said he was reversing it. He's so gonna, that would have been like... June, June, May or June, May or June. It sparked worker outrage. More than 2000 comments have been posted on farmers, employee, internal social media platform. Most of which were negative or crying and angry emojis. According to postings viewed by the wall street journal in interviews with employees. Uh, some workers said on the internal social network, they're prepared to quit their jobs. Well, they Others, have to. A lot of them were like removed, you know, Others have called for a union. Well, that's not going to do much of anything, but go ahead. I was hired as a remote worker and was promised that was the company culture moving forward. A worker who specializes in medical claims posted, this is seemingly a power move that is frankly disgusting. Another person said, I sold my house and moved closer to my grandkids. So sad that I made a huge financial decision based on a lie. So in this case, I totally side with the employees because they were told when they were hired that it was going to be remote only and that or they were told they were going to be allowed to go remote completely and they made changes based on that. And then they decided to walk that back and make and change that again when someone else took over. In this case, it's not the employee's fault. No. And, and this has happened a lot because remember, we, we talk a lot about animation on this channel. And remember that all these animation studios were going to work with people remotely and they're like, yeah, guys, we can. We can do it. We can make uh, all kinds of animation remotely. You can live in like Montana or something and phone it in the Burbank and it's all cool. Everything's cool. And then uh, the bottom fell out and people were like, right. no, you got to come back to work. 
So they were supposed to come back to work in September. So that I don't know what's happened since then because that was, you know, a few months ago. But this is just one example. We're bringing it up because this is an ongoing thing, which has led to this coffee badging trend that we're going to talk about. Yeah, well, let's talk about coffee badging. Then we'll talk about Roblox. That, that just happened like a week or so ago that they're they're in hot water for the same thing. Yeah, because I mean, if you're telling people they're not going to have to come in, you can't, you know, you can't turn around after they've made decisions to do other things and say, hey, guess what? You know? Yeah, I mean. Well, you can, but you can't expect them to come back with it. Yeah, you can't expect them to come back. Like, hey, I know you sold your house and you moved out of the state and uh, and all that, but could you could you please come back to work? And no, we're not going to give you re-relocation expenses. Mm -mm. Um, so yeah, this is coming from Forbes. Uh, workers are coffee badging the protest return to office mandates while the bosses are spying on them at home. So they said that the battle uh, between going to office or working remotely has been waging for a while, mostly since the pandemic. What happened was people got to work from home, many people, and they liked it and they decided they wanted to keep doing it. And for some jobs, you can. Mm -hmm. For some jobs, you can. Uh, I've worked remotely in a couple positions and I can tell you that they are a lot stricter with remote workers Mm -hmm. making sure you're actually putting your time in, especially if you're salaried uh, and you'll get like random phone calls throughout the day. They'll see if you're online working. Have you logged in? Yeah, a lot of times they can look at your computer to see what you're doing, et cetera, et cetera. If you're using Google Docs, are you actually uh, typing something on the oh Google Doc? You had one boss that literally would sit there. Now, this, he wasn't working remotely. He was at no. the office. Yeah. But this woman worked from her house. So she would literally, when he would be writing up a business plan, a marketing plan, she would literally be sitting on Google Docs, watching him type and then type over him. She would. I, I would sit there. <laughs> and she had no. a camera on you too, didn't she? Oh, she was like, oh yeah. She said that she put new security cameras in the back door. She's like, oh, there are security cameras. Here she was spying on the employees. Yeah, because they were pointing right at you, but they're security cameras. Yeah, yeah. It just happened to be pointing at us. That was, yeah. Um, no, what happened was, yeah. So she had everything in Google Docs and she would sit at home mm -hmm. and she would watch what we were doing and you could see her there and you'd see her little icon pop up and like, oh God, there she Does is. Did she not know that you couldn't, that you could see her? No, she knew because she would make comments as I'm typing something. She put a little post-it note in there. Oh, I don't like this. I think we need to. I'm like, oh, my God. Would you just come into the office like everybody else? And the, like, and irony is she literally was walking distance to the office. Yes. Her house was like just a couple hundred yards from the office building. They own the property. So she had her house right. and then they had the office building. There. And I'm like. You could haul your ass over here. Meanwhile, you would drive 45, 50 minutes one way to get yes. to the job. Yes. But uh, she couldn't walk 200 yards to, to come tell you something. She did. No, because she 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 <laughs> was afraid true. she was afraid of her her own employees. Well, that's she okay. Was. I've been was, afraid of you too. You were pretty pissed. Anyway. I, I wasn't very happy. I didn't last there very long. I really didn't. Basically told her to stick it. I did tell her to stick it. Everybody told her to stick it. I think I think a bunch of us quit in the same day, actually. She was a twit. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so unhappy with the mandate, uh, a lot of times people leave on their own and the firm won't have to provide an expensive severance package if they're like, hey guys, um, you know, you're going to have to go back to the, the office. It's kind of like what's going on with the, the strikes. What they're doing is they're trying to walk back a lot of poor decisions that were made during the pandemic and they're going to look for an excuse like, oh, what's that? You can't, you can't move back to, to San Diego. Oh, well, I guess I guess you're, we're just going to have to part ways then because that's a job requirement. Oh, what's that? Uh, we don't have enough money to, to, to do this show now because you guys have been on strike for 100 days. Pff, I guess we're just going to have to cancel it. I guess. Oh, well. Uh, so anyway, coffee badging involves employees going into the office building briefly to grab a cup of coffee or socialize with the coworkers before leaving again. The person engages in this trend um, as they feel taken advantage of for being forced to undertake an expensive and time-consuming commute to and from the office. Well, welcome to the reality for most people every day. I'm not trying... Look, in a situation where people were promised, you know, hey, you can work remotely, and they made life choices based on that, that lie. That's one thing. You get to work remotely because of the pandemic, and then they're expecting you to come back in to work in the office, and they're even saying, hey, you only have to come in three days a week instead of five days a week, and your answer is bare minimum Mondays where you don't do jack shit, or you drive, or you're mad, you come in, drink a cup of coffee, talk to people, and then leave. Yeah. I'm like, and all the time you wasted in the commute, you know, but they're going to build them for that. I'm like, I'm sorry, but this is like the most childish, immature, shitty behavior 
I mean, I'm not saying that companies are good either if they're lying to their employees and then, you know, dropping the other shoe and then all that. I, I, I side with the employees. But this is kind of just downright stupid. Yeah, so they come in, they swipe the badge, they talk to people. They want everybody to know that they're there. Like, oh, yeah, I saw Matt this morning. I don't know where he is, but I saw him at, I saw him at the uh, coffee station. He was drinking some coffee and he was uh, joking. And uh, so he's clearly here, right? So he should still get his paycheck, right? Um, but yes, I'm sorry. This is like the most, you know, uh, late millennial, early Gen Z bullshit I've ever seen. 60% of hybrid workers admit to coffee badging. Could these two things be related? Could it be that too many people were coffee badging and now these companies are like, yeah, you're going to get your ass back. Yeah. To that's work. probably why they're doing it. I mean, honestly, if they thought they, okay. Remote work saves them a whole bunch of expenses with buildings, with, um, you know, different like liability insurances and things like that. If they're calling you back in, that what I what it seems like to me is that they're calling you back in because they're not getting anything done. And their productivity has dropped significantly when your ass is at home. Well, they said this this one worker for uh, was another insurance group, Australia uh, Insurance Australia Group. She was fired for misconduct and failure to. Work is required, according to a decision made by the Fair Work Commission, rejecting the claim she had been unfairly dismissed. The evidence of her reported failure was demonstrated by a review of her cyber activity. Basically, they said she didn't use her keyboard enough. They could track how often she was using her keyboard. They can track how often you log in. In some of the companies I worked at, they could track what your internet usage was, how often are you sending emails, who are you sending emails to, and if it's like, okay, this looks like about an hour of work out of an eight hour, 10 hour mm -hmm. work day, what the hell are we paying you? And they're for? like, snooping and spying on workers, is it new? Yeah, well, okay, what are they supposed to do? Okay, let me guess. They're supposed to let you work from home, right? Let you work completely remote, but they're not supposed to pay, keep tabs on what you're doing to make sure you're doing your work and, and you're putting your hours in. So you're supposed to be allowed to work like two hours a day, hang on your phone, play video games, everything else, bill for eight, and then get to keep your job. Yeah. I mean, what do you expect? I'm like, if you're not, if your productivity is dog shit and it's way down from what is expected of you, I mean, within a reasonable amount of work, then of course they're going to be questioning it. This is, I, this is, I can't even, I can't understand how that's wrong. I don't know. Now, the other side of it is sometimes employers get ridiculous. Like, like the one you had. Yeah. But that's completely different. That was ridiculous. And I, you know, I would like to say that that came from you know, maybe her getting burnt in the past, but I'm like, no, I talked to people. They're like, she's always been this way. She's a psycho control freak. Ask her kids. You know, she's just, that's the way she is. And she doesn't trust anybody, not even her own family. And that's just a her problem. But, uh, you know, the time tracking software that always irritated the hell out of me. It was like, Oh, you had to put exactly how long it took every you to 15 things. minutes you had to. Yeah. Cause you didn't know, especially you when waste you waste how much, how much a day she put like a half an hour wasted during this bullshit. I did. Know? There was one, I was a project manager for one company and I had to, at the end of every day, break down like how many 15 minute increments did I work well, they on a they project build by that. Right? Yeah. Cause that was billable hours. And I'm like, God, I'm spending 45 minutes just keeping track of every damn thing I'm doing throughout the day. And then if you didn't put in fast enough, they get mad. Cause I, I, I would wait till the end of the day and be like, I got written down a sheet here, 45 minutes here, 15 minutes here, an hour on this thing. And, um, They'd be like, well, we don't see your time tracking. You need to be doing it in real time. I'm like, I don't have time to. Do you want the work that pays done? Or do you want me to sit here and piss around with telling you what I'm doing? And then if you had done it, the time tracking, you're right. You get this stuff done fast enough. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, too, like they're talking about, you know, employee monitoring software and stuff. Well, I don't think they can do that on your stuff without telling you, for one. But um, a lot of businesses want to keep track of your devices and activity and your, your emails and internet. They do that when you're in office too, because yeah. sometimes employees go to sites and do things they're not supposed to do. Yeah. So, I mean, this is where I get, I can see both. I legit can see both sides of it because in uh, the case of the one company, they did monitor internet usage because they had guys come in at the night shift and use the computers for porn. Yeah. And then they got viruses on the computer and <laughs> for porn, <laughs> porn, for more porn. <laughs> and a, even porn spreads viruses. Yeah. Um, and it was like, you'd like, I guess the one computer they were using was actually uh, the one they had log in because they were on a you know punch card and they would log in the system. And was, guess, was the computer sticky? Well, I guess there were pop-up ads for sticky stuff. Oh, and it would just kind of, you're like trying to log in like, okay, it's eight o'clock. I'm logging. Oh my God. What is that? 
Well, how'd that get there? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Um, okay, now, like, GPS tracking to track your people's location and during a workout. Okay, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. But I don't think it's ridiculous to, to uh, if you're, whatever the computer they're using, when you're logging into the company stuff, that the company could watch and make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. I mean, that's no different than if you go to work and you're on the computers, they can see what you're doing. You make sure you're supposed to be doing what you're doing. Um, keep your work computer separate from your home computer, obviously. That man's playing Galaga. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's what he's doing. Could be worse. Could be porn, Tony. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that's kind of common sense. I mean, the GPS tracking, I think, is more for people that are uh, like delivery drivers and, and people, you know, like, oh, hey, it took me two hours to make this delivery. No, it didn't. It took you 45 minutes and then you gave yourself a longer lunch break. You know, we saw your we saw your the truck parked at the freaking donut shop or the adult bookstore or whatever for, you know, two hours. Oh, you mean the booth of the company truck? But yeah, those people are truck. working from home part aren't using a company truck. No, anyway, no, no. so what's going with Roblox? So Roblox, this was just uh, like a week or two ago. They told employees they have to come to the office three days a week or take severance. Same thing. Again, three days a week. Oh, damn. You have to actually show up three days a week as opposed to the five days a week. Plus, you used to have to show up when you went to work. I just, I can't. Yeah. So the can't. the entitlement is just beyond me. Uh, David is at Bass Sucky. Roblox is, Roblox is, is founder and... CEO told employees in a memo on Tuesday, uh, this would have been like a week or two ago, that remote workers have until mid-January to decide whether they want to start coming into the office from Tuesday through Thursday, adding that relocation expenses will be provided if needed. We did well, not, that's nice. They're yeah, that, at least they're doing that, yeah. Um, we didn't uh, make this decision lightly as we understand that the decision to move is significant both for our employees and for their families and loved ones. Um, yeah, he said the company will be contacting a number of remote employees, though he didn't specify how many, asking them to return to work okay, in California. Okay, the question is, though, is this a case of where they were told that their work would remain remote and then they that, and they were hired based on that assumption or they were told that they, when they moved, they were told they'd stay remote? Or is this a case where they weren't told that and they just assumed it would stay remote? Well, no. It said that the announcement marks an about face for Roblox. Okay, see, that's, the, that's just it right there. Yep, which told employees in May of last year it was giving employees the option to either come into the office regularly a few days a week or primarily work remotely coming in for quarterly get-togethers. Uh, we put together a new work model powered by personal responsibility that gives teams and leaders the flexibility to decide how they work best given their goals. I think what happened was everybody took advantage of it. That's what that, that's what I'm thinking is. I mean, I, I don't have the company on doing an about face like this because it's going to screw a lot of people. However, it does sound like they let people, like they, they tried to give the benefit of the doubt. They tried to let them work from home and then people took advantage. Yeah, That's exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, he said he thinks we'll get to a point where the virtual workspaces are as good as the physical spaces, but they aren't quite there yet. And I, I think basically, I think he's being overly nice. I think he's basically like, we let you guys work from home. A lot of you took advantage of the situation and you basically sucked money out of our bank account without giving us anything well, in return. Here, uh, he said in the latest post that he personally hoped for Roblox to imagine a heavily hybrid remote culture. Extending past the pandemic. Ultimately, however, he said the working at office strengthens the company culture and results in more innovative and productive employees. Basically, you're all sitting at home. You're not talking to each other. You're not innovating anything. You're not doing your basic work. Get your ass to the office. You kind of did it to yourselves then. <laughs> but, you know, I don't agree with the companies telling people they can do one thing so they make life choices based on it and then do it in about face. I don't agree with that. Now here, though, this is interesting. Roblox will let some individuals who have niche skill sets or significant institutional knowledge continue to work remotely. Probably they're the ones doing the jobs and getting it done. Yeah, and that, that is the case. Like I know uh, the one company I worked for, I worked remotely for what? Almost five years? Was it? Was it how long? It was three three to five years. It was like, it was like three maybe. Maybe it was three. I was there a total of like five or six years. Yeah. But I had to earn the right to be able to do that. They mm -hmm. basically had to get to a point where they're like, you're – too valuable to replace right now. Not that I'm like super valuable. They literally made the job up just for you. But yeah, that's okay. Did. They did. Um, as a web development, web development job. Um, and at the time, like what I did, there weren't a lot of people that, that were doing it, but anyway, uh, they let me work remotely. Um, I did have to check in more often than I did when I was in the office. Cause they can just pop their head in and see that I was working. Right. Uh, and they didn't want to let me go because I, I had institutional knowledge. I came up with a lot of systems that they were using and stuff. And if they got rid of me, 
Oh, well, there the goes The owner all. couldn't claim all this stuff as their own work. That's a whole other story. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. That happens a lot. That, that happens does happen a to you a lot, actually. That's happened to me at least three or four times uh, in my career where I've fixed people's shit and then somebody else took the credit for it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Anyway, uh, they're not doing so hot now. That's okay. Good luck with that. But no, I can see, I can see them offering uh, individuals a better deal. Like if you've got a fantastic programmer and it's like you're the only, like one of like 10 people in the world that can do this, uh, yeah, you can live in Belize or whatever the hell you wanna do because mm -hmm. we're not gonna replace you. We can't replace you, so, you know. Yeah, if we'll you've been around work. the company probably for a long time, you, you, yeah. you've actually been doing your job and performing and they yeah. know that you're doing it, they might, you know, for you, they might let you, you know what I mean? But, but it sounds to me like people aren't doing their jobs. Yes, that's exactly what's going on. That's exactly what's going on. And that's it. And I'm not saying everybody who works remotely is slacking off. Uh, but what I'm no, saying, that's not what we're saying at all. is that uh, the people who are slacking off are ruining it for everybody. So now everybody has to go back to work. Just like most people, most jobs. Yeah. And that's what I understand. Like a lot of jobs are letting you come in three days a week and people are still bitching about it. I'm like, yep. are you kidding me? Yep. They can go back to demanding five days a week. They could. I, I think three is is pretty generous. I, I mean, I do. I, I totally do feel for those who who you know. I, I just don't understand why you moved that far away from your work. Like a couple hours, I can see, but like moving to like other states or other things, you know, because to, to, oh, I can work remotely. I, I don't know because apparently you can't trust these companies. So if they tell you that you can work remotely, keep that in mind that they might change their mind. Yes. I'm gonna wrap it up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.